So this is the second video for creating a clock or timer in MIT App Inventor. We had just finished up with our logic of when the down timer button is clicked and up timer button is clicked, we want to set our clocks to true. So if I go over to my emulator right now, I can hit my start button, which uh, was counting down from zero because it wasn't started. So I reinitialized the app here. So I have my uh, start button, which will go down to zero, and then it'll go time is up. If I hit my second start timer, it will count out to five, and then it will say time is up. So we can see here that if statement clock down equals zero, clock up equals five. What we want to do now is program our reset button. And what we basically want to do with our reset button is reset our variables. So an easy way to do that is we can come to variables here and we're going to set our uh, down variable to equal duplicate to equal five. And we're going to set our up variable we'll duplicate here to equal zero. Now, just like before, now that we've set those variables, now we need to display them. So I'm just going to duplicate my down label block here to display here. And I'm going to do my up label block here, which we've already said to display up there. Now, the other thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to turn both of our clocks and set them enabled to false on the reset button. Otherwise, we just start the clock over again. So I'm going to duplicate this and change it to two. So now what we have is when we run our finalized app on our uh, emulator, oh, I got to hit that reset button first to reset my global variable to five. This, when it reaches zero, will stop, time's up. When this reaches uh, five, it will do the same. And then when I reset, it'll reset both of my clocks. So I hope this helps you as you get into your game design and uh, other apps that you're going to be using a timer for.